Welcome in right now. Search, rescue, and recovery efforts are still ongoing this hour in Baltimore after a cargo ship brought down the city's Francis Scott Key Bridge. Officials say at least eight people and multiple vehicles were on the bridge when it fell into the river below. Two were saved from the water and at least six remain unaccounted for. A mayday call from the ship's crew just about 1.30 a.m. Eastern time gave officials critical minutes to warn drivers heading toward the bridge. Officials say the ship temporarily lost propulsion and dropped anchor as an emergency measure prior to the crash. The vessel's lights were seen flickering, then going out completely before it hit one of the bridge's key support pillars. No drivers were traveling on that span at the time, but there were construction vehicles and workers on it. And we want to do more with this after the collapse. We wanted to check in with the Port of Houston right here and the safety measures in place or not to prevent a similar tragedy. Port of Houston is the fifth largest port in the country and it handles 73% of container ships in the Gulf. Liliana Pearson has been speaking with engineers and port leaders today. Liliana, you spoke to an engineer today who says he wouldn't expect to see shocking failures like this one. That race you engineer that I spoke to today told me that the bridge in Baltimore, his professional opinion, it's a well designed and safe bridge and it even has safety measures in place to protect it from a side swipe or a glancing blow from a cargo ship. But he told me that what we saw play out this morning was a perfect storm of failures. It's a series of events experts say you can't engineer your way out of. This is a perfect storm of events. A large cargo ship appearing to lose power and making a direct hit with a bridge support beam, sending the structure, equipment, and people into the frigid water below. And uh, that's the first impression that I had. It's, it's very unfortunate. Satish Nagarjaya says it would be nearly impossible for this exact situation to play out at Port of Houston bridges. The Baltimore Bridge support beams are in 20 to 30 foot of water, deep enough for a large cargo ship to stay afloat. Here in Houston, we see bridge pylons in around two to three feet of water. Shallow enough, a ship would run aground before hitting the bridge. I'm told the Baltimore support beams were properly protected with large barriers to deflect a ship that gets too close. But a direct hit from a charging ship is a different matter. I was trying to steer away from the pier most likely. But you know, ships are huge. They don't steer instantly. I mean, they, they need time to steer and likely we'll have, we'll have to see the investigation to see what really happened. Project 11, a Port Houston ship channel widening project will allow larger ships into the port, but it's also being touted as a safety improvement project. In the works since 2010, the $1 billion project is set to ease congestion in waterways, allowing more space for ships to move. And today I was also told that bridges are inspected every 24 months or two years, but bridges near ports are often continuously inspected. Though today I did still make sure that I was requesting those open records requests to get the latest safety inspections on our bridges here in Houston. Those engineers told me they trust the designs we have here and they're more worried about what something like a natural disaster or a hurricane could do. Those experts telling me today that they're interested to see what the investigation says about the failures of the cargo ship. I'm Liliana Pearson, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.